Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra Tea Designs, and today I have this really fun pastel teacup slimline card to share with you. So let's jump right in. So to start, I am going to create the base, and for that, I take a full-sized piece of cardstock, which is eight and a half by eleven inches, and I cut off four inches, giving me an eight and a half by seven inch piece of cardstock, and then I score at the three and a half mark. So that gives me a three and a half by eight inch base. <laughs> I'm pretty sure those are my measurements. And that creates my slimline card base. Uh, and I have been using the remnant rub tool to kind of create the score lines. I've found with that, that uh, rounded ball in the end, it really does beautiful score lines. So I've been kind of using that now to uh, actually create the score line and then my Teflon bone folder to actually enforce the, the line. So I, I found that that helps with cracking and everything on my cardstock. And then I'm going to create kind of the panel that I want my teacups to sit on. So I have two pieces of hammer mill cardstock, or it's a piece of hammer mill cardstock that I'm going to cut down with the waffle flower um, slimline lacy layers dies. And I find that this just makes a really beautiful base for anything fun and colorful you want to add on top of it. Like I've used this to do um, flower cards. I've used this to just base a lot of different things. And I think that it ends up always looking really pretty. So <clears throat> that's kind of like one of my go-tos for creating some really interesting texture underneath the images that I want to kind of stand up against this really pretty panel. And it just adds a little bit of neat interest. And then I brought in a holographic piece of cardstock. This is going to be the base of all of the cups. And I'm going to use it again when I create the saucers for the cups to actually sit on in the end. Uh, I just thought that this looked really cool when you could see it kind of shining underneath the other cuts of this. Because these, this is the Tim Holtz Paper Cut Cafe wafer dies. And there are three layers for each cup. And you can just see that I have little pinch bowls sitting at the top there so that I can separate out all of my layers so I know what needs to adhere together. Because there is three layers for each cup. So... This just kind of helped me to make sure that all of my pieces were going to go together nicely uh, instead of having to, you know, kind of sort them out afterwards because it does tell you what number it needs to go with on the back of each die. So this is kind of just like my my way of making sure that I know what needs to go together. Uh, and then that holographic piece is kind of like the highlight and the handle of each cup. And I just thought that that looked really neat because it changes color in the light, right? So it just kind of added a little more interest to my cups. But you could, of course, it could be white. It could be a, a lighter color of the color cardstock that you're using if you're using it or whatever you want to do. I just, I really thought the holographic looked pretty neat. And then for my cardstock, I used a bunch of different cardstocks I have on hand from Simon's Stamp. So the pink is cotton candy and then the yellow was lemon chiffon. The green was mint. The blue was Audrey blue. And then of course, lavender was the purple, which you're going to see here now. And then I did also bring in some Nina Desert Storm for the kind of, I mean, <laughs> Technically, they're supposed to be coffee cups, but if you guys have been with me for a minute, you know that I don't drink coffee, I drink tea, so I'm, in my mind, they're teacups. And so I just, I'm kind of treating them as though they're tea. And then this is how I kind of did the little, which would be the tea part. I put milk in my tea on actually canned milk and honey, because that's uh, how I grew up drinking it. So that's how I still drink it. But um, so my tea is usually like a, a lighter brown color. Uh, so that's kind of was my thought with this little um, Nina Desert Storm cardstock was to kind of create that tea color uh, that I would what that I would drink <clears throat> so I cut those all out and then here I'm just going to tear them together so for that I did use my art glitter glue just to give me some wiggle room I, I did get a little bit of glue on the holographic cardstock but it wiped off pretty easily so it wasn't a big deal and then I this die though it has several layers it lines up really easily because it scores the area it wants you to line up the next layer onto. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. So on the holographic layer, there is like score lines where the, the next layer would sit. And then similarly to the layer after that, that just adds extra texture. So it's pretty easy to line up because it does tell you where it wants you to line them up. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. If you've used any of Tim Holtz colorized dyes, they all do that as well. And these cups are the exact same. So 
They were fairly simple to put together, although very small. So I did have to bring in my reverse tweezers for some of the pieces uh, just to make sure I could actually line them up where they belonged. Um, But otherwise, they came together really easily. And I think they are so adorable. I'm in love with these little cups. I think that they're like the cutest thing ever. And then you kind of got a close up look. And I did end up adding like a little milk swirl on the top of the cups. Now, I know this would normally be on like a top of a cappuccino or something, but I just I like the added text texture and interest that just kind of adds a little more to that cardstock. So this isn't necessary. I just thought that it would be really cute to have just a little bit of something on top of the cups, kind of giving you that idea that there was some milk added into whatever the beverage is that you think that it would be. If I had a tiny tea bag, I would have cut that out and had it hang out of the cups because I think that would have been freaking adorable as well. I don't own something like that. And I, was, I wasn't I was really willing to, to figure out how to make my own at the time. So I, uh, I'm trying to get ahead on videos right now because you guys know I leave for vacation next week. So I'm, uh, I'm trying to get ahead on videos. So <laughs> sitting there trying to figure out something kind of small and tedious at the moment is not in my brain power. But in the future, I'd love to kind of find a way to add like a little tea bag hanging out of these cups because I think that would be adorable. And at this point, I decided I really wanted to add the saucers. I wasn't going to originally Um, but I felt like it looked kind of odd with the cups floating. You can kind of see that I've laid them out on the the panel there and they just looked like they were floating. There was nothing grounding them. So to kind of create that um, saucer look, it's again, it's also three layers. So I cut the the base layer out of Simon Says Stamp. Uh, I believe it was the slate cardstock. That's the darkest gray. And then the next layer I did out of smoke, which is a lighter gray. And then the top little highlight I did out of that same holographic cardstock to give that same look of shimmer and shine. And then here again, I'm just layering them up. And again, it is the exact same. There are three layers, but it tells you where to put them. And I mean, there is an image on the packaging as well. So if there is any kind of struggle there, you can just reference the packaging and you'd see kind of where the things needed to line up. But they are pretty, pretty straightforward because it does give you like a scored area that the next layer needs to sit on. So though it looks a little bit tedious, I promise that they're not difficult to put together and they turn out super cute. Like in this one, I didn't even add any shading. I didn't, I didn't really add add much to these other than that kind of fun holographic cardstock. Otherwise, they're just a solid cardstock, which for me is not something I normally do. I think that these would be stunning if you ink blended some paper and then cut them out. I think that would be cool. I'll have to do that for a future future video, but uh, I just, I thought that these turned out beautiful and I did very little to them other than layer up some die cuts. So Here I did decide what saucers I wanted under what cups and I kind of messed up only in because I wanted it to be like the rainbow colors just pastel. So I was going for like um, pink, yellow, green, blue, purple, but I didn't realize that I'd pick the two square saucers for the two cups that would have gone side by side because I did two squared saucers or rectangle and three oval saucers because of course I have five cups Um, and then they would have been next to each other and I didn't like the look of that so here you can see I've laid them out a bit differently and I've changed kind of where the yellow and the pink cup would have been just to give me a little more variation in how I had put the saucers on the cups and I don't think it matters I think they look really pretty like this as well it's just that I had intended to do like Roy G. Biv but that didn't work out with how this ended up laying out. Uh, and then for the little steam that was coming off of the cups, I I love this idea of two different vellums. So I have a heavyweight vellum on the base and then I have a pearlescent vellum on the top. And I just, I love how this came together. I think that it turned out stunning. Now, of course you could use colored cardstock for this as well. I just liked the idea that the steam would be transparent. So that's kind of the thought I was going for. So I did run both layers through my Xyron sticker maker. You could have absolutely added adhesive before you cut them. I just find the sticker maker does really well with vellum so you don't see any adhesive behind them. And then I'm going to layer them up. So I ran everything through the Xyron sticker maker and then I brought in that remnant rub tool again just to get the adhesive to let go of the edges of my vellum. And then I'm going to use my reverse tweezers to gently lay down the very thin pearlescent vellum on top of the heavier weight vellum for the base layer. 
So hopefully that kind of all makes sense. I'm going to hold it up here in a second so you can check it out in all its glory because I know vellum is kind of difficult to see, especially against a, a white background. But there you can kind of see that, that I have those two layers and they look really neat together. And then I'm just going to adhere my layers together. So here I brought in my Nouveau Deluxe glue and I am going to adhere my two layers together. I did end up putting my Misty on top of them just because I felt like they wanted to curl a little bit. And I think that's just because of the pressure of my switch. But um, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I just set my Misty on top of things and then usually I walk away and grab a cup of tea and then come back and that works pretty well for me. And then here I have all of my cups kind of laid out and how I want them. And I'm I'm aiming them to be just above the like perforated line that the die gave to the, the second layer, or the top layer of my panel. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. I mean, you could bring in a ruler and kind of I do this a little bit more precisely, but I have a tendency to like to eyeball things. I think that that gives them a little more of a natural look and a handmade look. So I just kind of eyeballed them to be just above the perforated line that went across the bottom of that panel. And you'll see it again as I hold it up in the end, because uh, I think I showed you guys this card several times as I was making it because I was so excited about it. I just I love how this card came together. So I just kind of kept having to hold it up to the camera because I was like, look how pretty this is. And then here is where I'm going to add all of those vellums and I am going to switch them around. So this one I kind of, you can see that I've got the big part on the bottom and it's just above the cup. This one I'm going to flip it over. So the big part is actually on the top. And now they're all the exact same die cut. Nothing's different here. Although you could theoretically flip them when you put adhesive on them and put it on the opposite side, which would give you like a reverse look. But in this, I literally just flipped the thing over, the little steam over. And then this one I kind of tilted a little bit to the right. The next one I'm going to tilt a little bit to the left just to add a little bit more interest. Um, I mean, it's steam. They're all, they're all going to go up, but I wanted there to be just a little bit of something that differentiated all the steams from being the exact same across the card. So hopefully that kind of makes sense there. And then here I'm going to add a little foam tape to the back just to add a little more texture. You could have done this um, and dimension. You could have done this to the cups. You could have added more dimension to the cups if you wanted to. I chose not to just because there was so many layers of cardstock that it already kind of gave it a lifted look. Um, and then Mist had to come and supervise my uh, Big Mama foam tape adding. She's going to hang out here for a second. And it's actually ridiculously sweet. And I wasn't able to record it or I would have and I'd, I'd add it to, to the vlog. But uh, she actually sat on my knee and cuddled for a little while after this. So like at this point, the card is almost done, but I don't get a lot of cuddles. So when they happen, I pretty much stop everything that I'm doing and, and get those cuddles, right? So she came and she sat on my knee and I think she sat there for about 45 minutes before I was kind of like, like, okay, I, I need to finish this card. Like I need to get this done because I have other stuff to do, but it was just ridiculously cute. So I did leave this in so you guys could see Mist because she hasn't been in the videos recently. Then I just removed the foam tape, the little uh, adhesive part that kind of keeps it not sticky. And this is where I kind of love Big Mama foam tape. So I did struggle to line this up. I, I struggle when it's not liquid glue a little bit. Now, absolutely, you could add liquid glue on top of the adhesive, giving you a little more time. But with Big Mama foam tape, I find it very forgiving as long as you haven't pushed it down. Um, like I have just literally like lightly set this on the card base and then I can kind of shift it around until I'm happy with where it's sitting. So I do find that it is very forgiving um, until you press it on, then you're you're done. But for that first little bit, it gives you some wiggle time to kind of make sure that it's lined up to where you want it to be. And of course I was struggling because it, it would also stick to my finger as I was trying to lift it up and change it. But I am so in love with how this card turned out. I, I'm just going to hold it up here, guys, so you can enjoy it in all of its beautiful glory. But I didn't add a sentiment to this simply because I felt like it could really be a lot of things. It could be a thank you card. It could be um, the birthday card. It could be just a, hey, how are you doing card? It could be like, let's get together soon kind of card. Like I felt that it was a very card that could work for a lot of different things. So I chose not to add a sentiment, but you absolutely could. Uh, you could put it over like the steam on one of the cups or something, but I chose not to. So that is the card I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to know what you think. I'd love to know if you loved it as much as I did. And I will see you guys again very soon. Leave me a like, leave me a comment and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I do new videos every Monday and Thursday. Thank you so much guys. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.